Hey, John here with John Bond Performance, and uh, this is a video inspection on a Vortec V2 for Tudor. Uh, a little advertisement to start off. Uh, John Bond Performance specializes in supercharger rebuilds and supercharger parts. We're also starting to step into some performance line type items as well. But uh, aside from that, if you have any questions or need uh, parts for your rebuild, please consider contacting us by email. As far as uh, getting back to our inspection here, what we have going on is uh, I wanted to give some tutor some feedback on his product. Uh, this is the input shaft out of his Vortec, and the seal surface is in great shape. Bearing race or the bearing uh, uh, journals actually I'll check out. They'll take new bearings with no problems. Uh, the gear lash is fine, and as well as there's no damage to any of the teeth. Now input shaft. We almost got the same things. Journals check out, they're all perfect. Uh, they'll take bearings. The lash is fine. But if you'll notice, it's discolored on the output shaft side or impeller, uh, impeller side of the output shaft. And that's going to lead you to an indication of something else here that I'll get later on. Now, moving to the impeller. This is a V2 impeller, but it's uh, been sized down for the vehicle that he's on. Uh, to give you some feedback, I've had people say Vortec never notches their impellers. Uh, to that person that argued with me, uh, yes they do, here's a great example of one. Um, <laughs> anyway, he knows who he is. Uh, in regards to that, there is no damage to this impeller. It's in perfect shape, not a mark on it at all. So no issues there, Tudor. Front case cover, we've got no issues with it, all the threads check out. No damage to the internals. Uh, all the loose parts and pieces I have over here. We won't get into every little piece because their their bolts and screws are all good. Um, this is the rear part of the case housing. As you can see, the inside looks perfect. No damage. O-rings are good. We get to the back side. It's got a little uh, uh, mechanical seal here. Uh, we can get these. They're rather expensive and uh, they don't need to repla be replaced as long as the seal surface is in great shape on this and I did and the O-ring behind it is as well um, I already took this one apart cleaned it all up everything's great with it there's no sense putting it in if it's fine um, but I am working on trying to get a replacement uh, black piece it's uh, the black part of the seal is a, is a cartridge they're replaceable you can just get the inners um, once I get that manufactured what we'll be able to do is offer this to the public and uh, you'll be able to replace the seal while the supercharger is on the car simply by just popping off the impeller and putting everything back the same way you took it off. So again, uh, notable uh, information for the future. Okay, and now we move to the Volute. The Volute, again, perfect shape, not a flaw in it at all. Uh, excellent uh, in, in uh, the condition of it mechanically and operationally. Moving on to the pulley. Pulley's in good shape as far as uh, the spacing. There's no uh, uh, grooves or notches cut down in there from a belt slipping. But notice this back side how it's all polished. Okay. Well, what I found is when I took this apart, there was a sticker here across the, my Vortec. And I'm not sure what it said, but uh, it had peeled all loose and was wrapped up and was rubbing on this pulley. This was causing a little bit of a hiss noise when rotating the supercharger. Just that rubbing of the label caused a hiss noise. But once I removed that, there was still a clicky noise. And so I had to disassemble the supercharger to find out more information. Well, this is what I found. A normal uh, angular bearing that is in these things looks like this, okay? A lot of times people make the mistake of just buying a normal bearing. Do not. This is an angular bearing. It needs to be a matched set. We'll be offering these on our website here for you as well. There's nothing really wrong with this bearing, but when I go to this bearing, now this is a part. I took it apart, okay? So bear in mind that I did take this apart, but I had to because it had a little clicky noise and I wanted to find out what was going on. Okay, so inside there was a plastic race. Okay, it has a little piece missing out of it, but also it's cracked. Okay, hopefully you can see that. Okay, literally cracked, and it's brittle. These aren't supposed to be a brittle race at all, and it's brittle because the supercharger either has some miles on it or it's hot. 
But this little piece I was not any excuse me unable to find inside the case, which tells me since this was an oil fed, it flushed through the system, probably dropped into a pan, and has probably since been uh, flushed out of the car with uh, some second. Uh, some second oil changes that can't even talk. Um, but anyway, with that, uh, this bearing actually has been getting high. And it may have been due to the placement or displacement of the roller bearings due to the, these cracks, okay? One can get closer to the other basically as they travel around. So again, this is all the bad bearings, or the bad part of the bearing. This is the good part of the bearing, okay? So what I recommend as a tutor is we're going to replace all the bearings in this. These need to be matched, and then while he's at it, since he's got this far along, he's going to go ahead and replace the input shaft bearings as well. This is the front oil seal, and uh, it was seeping. It's very hard and brittle. It pretty much needs our front oil seal as well. So, tutor, that's what we've got. Hopefully you found this helpful. And uh, for those who have never seen one of these apart, Pay attention because I may go ahead and post some uh, information on assembly here to help those who have their own and trying to fix it and uh, show you how to properly put it together. And uh, so keep watching.